you saw one of the previous episodes, I talked about Open Plotter and the setup I have and the 10.1 inch screen that I have at the nav station. And that I, I used to have an old iPad one uh, that I used at the helm. Well, I left that on the uh, on the windowsill and uh, um, left the window open and basically it rained, the iPad died. So I looked for a replacement for the tablet. Do I get a new tablet? I was thinking about getting a Samsung Active Pro. Everybody says they're really, really good. Um, but I, I wanted a proper monitor. I talked to a company in China via Alibaba. The name of the company and the details are in the description. They make industrial monitors that are waterproof and sunlight readable. My requirements were for it to be waterproof, sunlight reads readable, optically bonded, dimmable from zero to 100%, have a nine to 16 volt supply so I can use it directly from the battery, be multi-touch, uh, be 1080p so that it's the same as the screen in here and I can use them in clone mode and also be auto on uh, so it, as soon as the power comes on so does the, the screen. I worked with a salesperson via email over a few nights, resolved some communication, language issues by rephrasing questions and things like that and basically we agreed on a spec for a 15.6 inch monitor. They sent me an Alibaba invoice and I paid by credit card. The design was released to production on the 4th of November. The box was picked up on the 28th. It arrived here in the US on the 5th of December. So just about a month, which I think is, is really good. So this is how it arrived. So it was double taped across here, taped on all the seams. It's a big, it's a relatively big box, right? It's, so I opened it up inside. It's a double layer box. So it's a box inside a box. And then inside that you have a layer of foam and then another layer of foam. So the screen itself is in a plastic bag, sealed. Um, and then foam all the way around the outside of it and then the box of accessories so in the accessories here the accessories we have all the cabling so the cables for everything even a visa connection that you can put it on the wall to try it or whatever so, so this is the screen itself so the screen itself is inside a plastic bag and do the plastic bag put a piece of, plastic, piece of cap but you can see there's a there's a screen cover but it's a glass screen it's a aluminium bevel around the outside it's got a bit of an edge on it so you can sink it you can probably I don't know whether you can see that maybe it's better you can see there's a bevel edge on there like that uh, and then on the back there is all the connections so all the connections and they're all screwed on like this and waterproof connectors uh, there is a menu buttons here so you can go through menus and you can turn it on and off this is a visa 100 and a visa 75 so you can actually put eight screws in which is what i intend to do so when, when this is on the boat it'll look pretty good and it's a 15.6 inch monitor it's optically bonded so the the glass panel is connected so that there's no gap in between uh, so that we don't get condensation in uh, those areas it's a sunlight readable screen a thousand nits and it's IP67 so it's submergible So for the monitor, we needed to be able to run HDMI to the helm. Um, so what I did is I ran uh, two for HDMI, so two Cat 6s, and then I've got a Cat 6, Cat 6 here, Cat 6 to, um, to HDMI extender on this end uh, that goes to the Raspberry Pi right there. And then this one here is Cat 6, Cat 6 to USB. So both of those connected to the Raspberry Pi at this end in the uh, nav station. All right, so you can see these Cat6 cables coming in here. And then right here, we have uh, 
HDMI. So our HDMI um, adapter that goes into the back of the bow. But then if you follow it down, you've got Cat6 to HDMI. And then if you look down there, right over here, blue lights there, that's uh, a USB hub. Uh, USB is right here, coming through from with Cat6 again. Cat6 to USB. You notice that I've got these little tags on. That was to keep the colors, colors the same, so I could understand which one was which. Uh, then the lines go under here, and then they come out right here for the uh, for the monitor, and then up to the back of the monitor, like so. So here's the monitor. I just I just paused the music, so that's why we're on the Pandora. Oops. And then here is my kip. And you see the, the wind speed going through here. Um, obviously the depth and speed, I'm, I'm out of the water, so. But the wind speed here, 17 to 18 knots right now. Um, doesn't know quite where we are, so it's continually just going around. I do have other kip screens, then this one is something I, I use for, for racing, and I usually have it full screen. Uh, and when it's full screen, you have a big, um, big gauge, big uh, wind gauge, and then this tells you where to steer to port and this where to steer to starboard. It gives you the error, the steer error. This is the uh, bearing to the waypoint, and then your speed over ground. So it's a very simple display. It just tells you steer that way, steer that way. That's that's pretty much the three screens that I always use. On here you can see cabin temperature, cockpit temperature, raw water intake, engine coolant temperature, uh, and then the rest is basically anything to do with the Raspberry Pi. You can see here, look at this, 17% uh, of the SD card used, memory usage 37%. So I'm doing all this, um, you can see there is uh, AIS and all sorts of stuff like that running. I'm running um, I was running uh, music as well, and I'm still only using 37% of the memory. I was just patterning up a 
cover to go on uh, that's going to be made out of Sunbrella. Some of these icons are a little bit small. I might actually shift the whole thing to 720p instead of 1080 in order to basically have a, a bigger, bigger icons and bigger stuff. And this is what it looks like turned sideways. Um, so you can see I've, I've turned it away from the helm, so the helm's right here. Turned it sideways, and I can sit on the on the seat at the side and look at the screen. All right, I'm going to show you the dimming feature. So it came with a, an external dimmer, right? You can do it on the switches on the back or on the in here in the menus but um, I wanted something that I could do just external right so what I did is um, they gave me a pot on a wire and um, so I, I basically mounted the pot here this little white thing here so if I adjust this like this which is hard to get to which is purpose because I don't want it to get water on it and right here it doesn't get water so I'm gonna twist it and I'm going to show you what happens. So you can get it down as dark as you really want to. Uh, and at night that'll be brilliant. That'll be enough. So you can go as bright for the, for the daytime or as dark as you like. It's a really good feature.